Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of jazz guitar improvisation by exploring three fantastic techniques using the classic Herbie Hancock's tune, Cantaloupe Island. We will explore three game-changing techniques for improvisation. Number one, melodic phrases, but how we will treat them. Two, scale boxes. And lastly, what I call arbitrarily four plus four triad shapes for each chord of the tune. So, grab your guitar and let's get started. I have the pleasure to be here at Chris Hale's studio, a good friend of mine. He's a wonderful rock guitarist and he's going to help me today. Hello guys, my pleasure to be here. First up, let's talk about Pat Metheny's phrases. Pat has an incredible way of crafting melodic lines that really resonate. One of his notable performances back in the 90s with Jack Dozonet on drums, Dave Collin on bass and uh, of course Herbie Hagong on piano showcases that beautifully. I suggest you watch that video. In that solo, Pat combines rhythmic and melodic elements. Technique number one, solo phrases. What I really did here is that I took uh, the first three opening phrases of uh, Metheny's guitar solo, of course, and I extract the position and the note choices uh, he had for each one of the licks. Lick number one, it, it was played... Uh, on the F blues scale for the F minor chord. If we play that with some uh, rhythmic uh, attitude and some melodic, it reminds me a little bit of Metheny's attitude and uh, melodic shapes. Phrase number two, when the harmony goes to D flat dominant chord, here D flat 9, D flat 7, Metheny plays around D mixolydian, uh, D bebop, but let's keep it mixolydian for now because we, we want easy things, even if Metheny plays chromatic here from B flat up to the D flat, which is just a bebop scale there, but anyhow, the purpose of this video is not, of course, uh, the theoretic uh, approach, but just to have three games to play. First game is the solo phrases, right? It's like this. He plays the first four notes of the D flat uh, mixolydian scale, and then he leaves out the fifth and go to the sixth note and chromatic goes up to the root goes up to the third and to the ninth all together and with some attitude And uh, phrase number three, Metheny played it somewhere around here on the fifth position of the guitar in this D minor chord. He played it, he played something around these notes here. E F E D C A. What is our job? There is the my... good attitude. Okay. Yeah, to edit those figures, really. <laughs> with the slides, hammer-ons, blocks, whatever. And with attitude, those notes extract uh, phrases. Now, all together. Let's play a little bit on the track. Technique number 
number two, scale boxes. First of all, I'm going to use uh, a set of three strings for simplifying improvisation here. And for the first chord, the F minor, I'm going to use the box of B flat Dixolydian scale. Which is the same notes really as the F Dorian scale because both modes, B flat Mixolydian and F Dorian, belongs to the A flat major scale. Accordingly, this is how it goes to the other chords too. Because I would like to stay only on the boxes and give the boxes B flat for the F minor, B flat Mixolydian. Now for the D flat, I'm going to play the notes of the C Lydian scale, of the B Lydian scale, or C flat Lydian scale. Which are the same notes really as the D, D flat Mixolydian scale, because both those modes belong to the G flat major key. But let's leave it for now, it's more confusing than uh, simplifying things. So, what we have to remember, one box shape, B flat mixolydian for F uh, minor chord, C flat or B natural, lydian, one octave, and for the D minor 7, the C Ionian mode, C major scale, which is again really is the D minor. Uh, D Dorian scale. D Dorian scale. Now let's hear how this box is going to sound while we improvise on Catalog Island. <laughs> called um, 4 plus 4 triads. Really, I play chord scales, triadic chord scales. For the F Dorian scale, I play the F Dorian scale with chords. And I separate them in two tetra chords. The first four notes, uh, for example, the first four notes and the other four notes. 4 plus 4. What uh, it's more useful and more easy for someone to remember is the first four chords of each. That means two minor triads stone apart, starting from the root of the chord, from the F, F minor, G minor, then moving half step up, A flat major, B flat major, and two major triads, uh, one step apart again. If I move to the second plus four, what I call plus four, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, like a minor triad, diminished triad, major triad, and again minor triad. So it's more easy to remember the first tetrachord chords. Now, recap, F minor, F minor, G minor, A flat, B flat, D flat major. I go to play, I'm going to play the same thing, from the A flat Dorian, because A flat Dorian and D flat are the same notes, blah 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 blah. Now, A flat minor, B flat minor, C flat or B natural major, and D flat uh, major. That means again I have the same pattern minor, minor, half step up, major, major. So it's easy for me to remember those four triads. I, I will extract melodies for F minor and for the same pattern, I will extract melodies for the D flat dominant chord. Now, for the D Dorian, it's uh, really easy again because I'm going to start from the root, from the D, and I will play minor, minor, half step up, major, major. That means D minor, A minor, A major, G major. Recap all this I have F minor, D flat dominant, and uh, D minor. Now let's try to improvise on uh, Cantaloupe Island using this technique.
So, there you have it. Today we explored three game-changing techniques on improvisation. But my theme is solo phrases. Number two, scale boxes. And lastly, four plus four triad shapes for each chord of the tune. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more jazz guitar tips. Keep practicing and see you next time. Have a nice day.